Howdy chumps, my name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you how to insert consecutive white spaces in Dreamweaver. I'm sure uh, you might have struggled at some time or the other in trying to do so. Uh, let me tell you exactly what I mean by that. Let me first say create new HTML. Guys whenever we say create new HTML, uh, initially the doc type is always selected as uh, XHTML1 let me change that and I can go to file I can go to convert and let me say HTML5 right let me uh, change the title and save the document consecutive white spaces alright let me save the file up white spaces alright cool guys now as I said I'll teach you how to uh, insert consecutive white spaces in Dweaver I'll tell you what I mean by that guys have a look out here I'm using the classic workspace uh, and uh, at the same time guys I'm in the split view okay let me click in the design area and then the first thing that I'll do is I'll go to the properties pane of the panel and select P for paragraph okay and notice the code that is inserted out here in line number nine opening p tag the closing p tag and in between we have and nbsp now and nbsp is equivalent to one single space non-breaking space all right let me come here in the design area and uh, type something let me say this is how you insert consecutive white spaces right now guys um, let's assume I you know click between the white and the spaces and hit the space bar again and again and again I'm actually hitting it deliberately a little harder so that you can hear it I'm hitting the space bar guys and actually nothing happens out here absolutely no changes uh, take place out here okay and let's assume that I, I you know I go between the white and the spaces in the code area and let me hit the space one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten times and uh, you know I click here in the design area it actually hasn't made any difference at all whatsoever even if I go to the live view guys it makes no difference at all so what if I actually want to do that you know the the there are two ways in which that can be made possible guys and we'll uh, learn them one by one way number one is pretty simple let me first save the document what I need to do is I need to go to edit go down to preferences and in the category general guys we have an option which is set off by default and that option is it's one of the editing options allow multiple consecutive spaces all right let me check it on let me say okay and now if I go between white and spaces and hit the space bar let's say one two three four five six seven eight nine ten times let me go to the live view you can actually see that it's inserted the white spaces let's show you the code view guys see it's inserted the and nbsp colon and nbsp colon several times which is as I said equivalent to uh, a non-breaking space so this is method number one when it comes to um, inserting uh, extra white spaces or consecutive white spaces let's check method two okay I'm gonna come out here where we have the opening p tag I'm gonna pass in the class attribute guys right and um, let me give it a class let's say method to itself alright and let's learn method 2 guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this plus button to insert a new CSS rule cool right the contextual selector is set to a class we have a period or a full stop just before method 2 which is auto populated and the rule definition is getting saved in this document itself basically we are creating an internal or an emb embedded style uh, let me say okay the moment I do that guys you can actually notice that an opening style tag and a closing style tag is inserted between the head of the document right then I need to go to the uh, block category guys and where you see white spaces let me set it to pre pre for preserve white 
white space basically uh, just another way of preserving the white space and now if I say OK alright after which guys what I'll do is uh, I'll go back to edit I'll go to preferences let me set allow multiple consecutive spaces off let me say OK alright uh, just to be sh you know just to ma uh, make sure that uh, method 1 and method 2 do not collide or do not uh, you know override each other now what I'm gonna do is guys I'm gonna take the uh, the cursor out here between this and is in the code area and then I'm gonna hit the tab once twice thrice alright now if I click here in the design area you can actually see that the tab is working the way I wanted it now if I were to take the cursor between the how and the you in the code area okay let me hit uh, spaces a few times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and if I were to click in the design area you can see that it's inserted few white spaces out here as well in the uh, design area too all right although we don't have an NBSP out here okay so this method actually does not insert an NBSP the method me which is the method number two so basically uh, all I did was I created a class method two went to the block category and set the white space to pre okay we have yet another option guys which is no wrap okay let me set it to ok and guys the moment I do that you can actually notice that the white spaces that were inserted because of pre have actually disappeared these white spaces are because of and NBSP guys okay uh, have actually disappeared but I'll tell you what uh, no wrap means no wrap means that your text will never ever wrap <laughs> let me show it to you see uh, let me uh, you know increase the size of the paragraph Th let me type just about anything here guys and this paragraph is not going to wrap alright let me show you a preview in Google Chrome okay I, I need to insert a few more spaces what I'll do is let me copy this bit alright let me come here and here in the code area let me paste it again and again and again alright and now if I were to take a preview in Google Chrome guys you can actually see that uh, the paragraph goes on and on and on even if I you know slide the uh, horizontal scroll bar okay it never ac ever actually goes to the next line alright so that was um, another option if you set the white space to no wrap you can have a look out here alright guys so I hope you like this tutorial guys I hope you learned something from it and I hope you enjoyed it too and I hope to see you very soon with uh, yet another uh, tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace